Mitch Thomas with Sound Toys here. Today we are going to run through the features of Radiator and Little Radiator to give you a quick insight into what these little beasties are all about. First of all, these are both emulation plugins. The Radiator is an emulation of the classic Alltech 1567A tube mixer and EQ. Uh, which was a five-channel microphone mixer, monophonic, awesome. Uh, it was used in some of the classic Motown recordings, <laughs> believe it or not, all monophonic, summed together. Yes, that's the way we used to do it. Little Radiator is an emulation of the Altec 1566A, uh, which is the mic pre version only, a single channel of that, which is a great sound without the EQ. The 1567A uh, mixer uh, was picked up a lot by indie producers in the modern day and is used because there's basically five channels of tube uh, mic pre there. So you get a lot of power for the buck because they uh, went relatively cheap uh, before everyone caught on. Now they're going for sky high prices. And the Black Keys even had a custom console built out of these units, which is very, very cool. Okay, to jump into the sound and features of Radiator, it has a bass and treble control, which is very sweet, very effective. It has an input and an output and a mix and noisy clean switch, mic and line. Okay, with Radiator, we wanted you to have the most realistic analog experience, as, as close to being able to use this piece of gear as possible. So what we did was we kind of left things in an analog world, if you will. Uh, we have modeled the drive stage of the input and we modeled the drive stage of the output so they can both be driven separately. Um, but that means it gets very loud. And that's one of the things the original 1567A was notorious for. It was incredibly loud. It had just under 100 dB of gain with everything cranked, EQ and, and all the drive. So it was a very, very loud unit. Also, that's why the noisy clean switch is there. These units were notoriously noisy. Uh, so we left that in there. And one of the reasons is a lot of people uh, feel like the noise adds to the element. And there is definitely some arguments to be made that that is true. Uh, it's certainly the way the original unit sounds. So uh, if you want the sound of the original, this is where you go. So since you can drive both of those, we do have the mix stage here, but uh, you, you're going to have to ride your volume. That's the way it is. Things get loud in the analog world and this guy does too. So uh, let's jump right in and listen to some sounds through this thing. Okay, let's check out the drum beat. I'm going to kick in radiator. This is kind of the sound that I had on it earlier to see what it sounds like. Gets a little extra energy. Here's the sound, fully wet. a little bright. It's nice, it's simple, you can push, there's that noise, listen to it, it's off, on. I'm gonna leave it on, because that's the analog world. I'm gonna crank the bass here, pull the treble back. Okay, now we're going to crank it up a little so you can hear what it can do. Drive and input all the way. Turn the input all the way down, drive the output all the way. You can use it subtly or drastically. Um, a little taste of it is usually all you'll need. The EQ is really sweet, and the EQ is between the input and output drive stage, so you can actually drive EQ into the output stage and get a, a totally different uh, character out of it. Uh, of course, the mix control allows you to uh, mix things together. You can turn the noise off if you don't like it. One other thing I'll point out is we uh, the mic and the line here actually give you uh, some subtle differences as well. What we did was we modeled the two different inputs that go into the 1567A, the original unit, which was microphone, or a line input, and they're different. Uh, we didn't model a microphone, but we modeled the way a microphone interacts with the unit. So you get that actual kind of response and, and analog feel and the subtle little nuances that are there. And there are uh, differences. We analyze the thing uh, pretty thoroughly uh, to find out what made this thing magic. One of the other places that it shines is on bass. So I'm going to open this one up here on the bass. And let's give a listen to this bass track. And with 
radiator. And we can turn our noise off if you don't like it. Crank the bass up a little more. That's one of my favorite sounds, oddly enough, is just turning the bass and treble all the way up. One other cool trick with Radiator that we've done with some of our other products is to do the double distortion, which is really cool because it helps bring uh, guitars a little more life. So I've got these uh, power chords here. And they're awesome. Uh, I'm going to switch on Radiator. What I've done is I've kind of driven pretty hard and turned up a little bit of the high end there, rolled off a little bottom. And I've mixed it just barely in the edge there. Maybe mixed in a little more than normal, but. Just to give it a little more presence. Let's listen to it with a drum beat going here. Without. Okay, so let's take a quick look at Little Radiator 2 and uh, talk about it a bit. I've got it on the master out, so I've got my drums and my bass going here. Uh, and once again, you see you can turn the noise on and off. Uh, I'm going to bypass my radiators over here so we can hear that. One thing of note uh, is on Little Radiator, uh, we, we released the free version, uh, and uh, a lot of people have that. This new version has a bit of an updated kind of feel. Our, our, we now, instead of having the pad, we have the heat knob, which goes plus and minus, so you can actually, instead of padding, you can have a you know, continuous control here. Uh, and we also gave you a bias switch here. So what that is, the bias is switch when it's on uh, is the sound of the original little radiator, which actually was a little bit off from the from the sound of the 1566A. Uh, so the off uh, is the sound of the real 1566A. The reason we left that on there is because the kind of unbiased version that we did uh, originally has a really unique character to it. Uh, and it still is a model of one of the actual 1566As. It was just modeled uh, off of a unit that was a little tilted, but it's a great and cool sound. So we gave you both. You can switch it on and off. You can switch your noise on and off and you can drive it just a little bit. I'm gonna run through this. Anyway, that is a basic look at Radiator and Little Radiator to let you know their controls and get into it. Uh, dig into all the subtle variations that you can get out of these tones and have fun.